So when you click on this button, flip, the background color changes and the color which is changed is shown here in this area. So let me show you when I click on flip, the color changes to red and also here it's shown that the color is red. <laughs> video you will be learning how you can create this cool little javascript project and let me show you the project so when you click on this button flip the background color changes and the color which is changed is shown here in this area so let me show you when i click on flip the color changes to red and also here it's shown that the color is red if i click again yellow again and coral and violet so a random number is generated so let's just see how it's done so I have an empty folder here. I'll create one file which is called index.html and then I'll also create two more files which are style.css and also app.js and I'll quickly write the boilerplate code. So shift and one, you'll get the exclamation point and click enter, you'll get the boilerplate. Let's name this thing color flipper and just to see if everything's working or not i'll write h1 and hello for this project once again we'll be using this cool little extension which vs code has which is called live server so you don't have to again and again go and reload so you can go on extensions tab search for live server it's it goes by the name of live server by it right there so you can install this and once you've installed it installed it you'll see that you get something like when you right click anywhere on this page you'll see this uh, thing which is called open with live server so you just have to click on this and a new live server will open up so i already had an open ser uh, server open so it will open on new and you'll see it says hello so if i change it to test and if i save it you'll see that it automatically changes you don't have to go again and reload it so that's uh, a really nice feature which VS Code provides us with. So the server. So let's just move and see. Uh, let's just start coding, right? So first, let me just create the whole HTML file. Then we'll create CSS, and then we'll move forward to JavaScript. Okay. So I have an empty folder, empty file here, HTML. I start with a section of container. So section dot container, container. And inside this section, I will have a div which is called holder. So it will have the color name. So div dot holder. And inside this, I will have a p tag. It says background color is. And then I'll have a span here. So inside this span, I will add the color using JavaScript. Okay. So I'll give this span an ID of let's say color. Okay. That's basically it. So this is the holder, then we have the button. So button and inside this button, I'll give this a button class VTN and then I'll name it flip. Okay, that's basically it for the HTML. So if you see here, I have an empty holder. So this is the holder. This is the paragraph here. The text, uh, the color is appended using JavaScript, so span and then a button. So that's basically it. Let's just quickly style it up. So I will link the style uh, style sheet here, style sheet which is called style.css and quickly I'll also link the javascript file too. So script source is app.js. Right now I don't have anything here in the styles written that's why it doesn't show anything but for this project I was using a font which is called let me see urbanist. Okay so you can find that font on fonts.google.com so you can go here and I found that font over, over here so it's up here or you can search it if you don't find it I selected the um, regular one and also I think I selected the medium and bold as well so I'll select all these things go here copy this link tag or you can just go at go on this place where it says import copy this import tag so from at till here copy it and in the style.css file paste it here so you have that font installed now you just have to define the font family so i just write the basic boilerplate css code which removes all the basic stylings and padding margin all these things so star and then margin is zero padding is also zero and box sizing is border box so you'll see that the basic stylings have been removed 
so now i can uh, easily style everything up so what i'll do is i'll copy this font family from here and i'll paste it here because i'll be using only this font for this so that's why i, I was using this so it's not recommended because you'll be using maybe two or three fonts so you will spe you can specify them as you want but here we're just creating a simple project that's why i'm using the font family here okay so let's move forward so first i'll give the section a height of 100 bh so section height is 100 bh so it covers the whole uh, viewport of your device then i'll move to container so i think i gave the section a class of container so i don't have to add it manually i can add it here only so container and the height of 100 vh then display is flex justify content center align item center and flex direction is column so everything is nicely aligned in the center okay now we'll style this holder so the holder is inside container so dot container then dot holder and the background color is background color is hash 212121 so a dark color then i gave it a padding of not block end it's padding padding is top bottom 20 pixels and left and right is 50 pixels i gave it a border radius of 4 pixel margin is top bottom 10 pixel left right 0 pixels and also the color should be white if i save it you'll see that now i have this thing uh, a button kind of thing okay so i i have to make it bold so the text should be bolder so we have a p tag for that so inside container and holder we have a p tag so let's style that thing now container then holder then we have p so font size is 22 pixels then we have font weight okay not font but font weight is bold and also color inherits so basically it inherits the color of its parent so white so holder inside holder we have p so it inherits the color of its holder so white color yep so that's basically it that we need to style here and now we can move forward to our button so button is inside container and i gave it a class of button btn so outline should be none so i don't need any outline i added a border radius or just a border of one pixel solid and a gray color so for that i'll be using rgba so rgba is 33 33 33 and 0.3 it's a small subtle border so you'll see what, how it looks like then we have padding so padding again block in padding is top bottom 10 pixels left right 30 pixels then cursor is pointer background color is transparent then font size is 18 pixels border radius border radius is 4 pixels and font weight yep okay that's basically it so uh, font size 18 okay we also have that font weight so font weight is 500 okay yep okay that looks cool so we have our holder here we also have a button so we can add a bit of uh, you know when we hover over this button the background color changes so we can do it simply by container then btn hover and then we can just make the background color to hash 212121 and color to white save it you'll see when you hover over it you'll see that it changes its color so that's basically the styling the whole styling is done and html is also done now we can move forward to app.js or our javascript so what here we are doing is basically we have created an array and inside that array we will be adding these colors so uh, the colors which we are using here so yellow or um, let's see coral or what we have green violet red and we've added some only five or six colors for showing purposes but you can add as many colors as you want and yeah that's basically it so we'll be creating an array of colors and then we'll be creating a random number so and uh, will be not creating a random number but generating a random number using the math function of javascript so what we'll do is whenever we click on this button that random number is generated and the, the number which is generated that index color is changed so 
it checks in the um, array and it takes out that color and it's, it puts that color in the background. So let me show you how it's done. So first I'll create that array. So I'll, I named it colors. So const C-O-L-O-R-S is equals to, and I have an array of a number of colors. So I'll be using coral. You can use any one you want. So coral, I have aqua and I have violet violet then i have red then i have yellow and also green so you can add as many as you want so this is the array of colors then let's just select all these things so we'll be clicking on this button so we will need this button also we want to um, append the value in this uh, span so id of color so we'll have to select that as well and also we have to select the background yeah okay so now what we can do is select everything so const uh let's say button is equals to document dot query selector and query selector of class dot btn then i'll add that color is equals to document dot query selector and here I'll be using ash color okay so I have my color I have my button the next thing which I want to do is create a random number so for that we'll be using a function which is math.random so it generates a random number so I create a function which generates it so const random number is equals to an anonymous function and inside this function it will just return the value and what will it return it will return math.random so this is a function math.random which javascript provides you so it basically generates a random number but we don't need a random number because let's say uh, a number is generated which is uh, which does not constitute of this array length so it's greater than this array le array's length or it's lesser than that or basically it's a negative value so we have to specify the you know restriction we have to restrict the random number between some of these constraints so so for that what we'll be doing is we'll be multiplying it by the length of this array so match.random then star or shift 8 asterisk and then colors dot length so it will now it's restricted to only the length of this uh, array so it will not go away uh, uh, away from one two three four five six okay so now one more thing which we need to do is since a random number can be either a decimal or an integer any type of number but we don't need any integers because arrays don't work like that arrays have these indexes which are zero one two three four five like uh, this is zero one two three four five so we need an integer so that's why we will be using one more thing which is called math.floor so it basically uh, makes that number uh, or rounds off that number to the next digit okay so math.floor and we'll wrap this whole function around this math.floor so this is how you get a random number between the given constraint okay now just one little thing which we need to do is whenever we click on that button so button dot add event listener whenever we click on that button and an anonymous function should run and we will create a new constant which is num so it will just get that number from random number and save it inside that num and then we don't need anything just document dot body so we'll, select, we'll be selecting the body then style then background color is nothing but colors and then i'll define okay i have to add an equal to here yep so colors and the index will be the random number which is saved in num so now if i save it and if i click flip so the color changes and if i click it once again this time it doesn't change it's because we only have six digits right so it's basically repeating itself so the number generators is a the number which is generated is that once again so this time we got green this time we got aqua yellow 
coral once again aqua red so this is how you do the color thing and now we just need to append the value so for that you can select the color so the span and then in our html or you can just use text content is colors and now now if i save it if i click flip you'll see the color and the background color also changes so once again if i click yellow red yellow red and this is how this whole color flipper works so for more such small tutorials make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel we have a 15 days javascript challenge in our community so you can find the link of that community in the description down below make sure you join the community and follow us on different channels thank you Thank you.